You've crafted your high impact opening. You've pulled people in to your first floor. You're, you've given them the foundation. You've gotten them excited. You've taken them to the first floor, given them a little bit of a higher point of view on your topic. Now it's time for the next point of view or the second sub point. How do you do that? That's the subject of this video. From this point forward in this series, it's going to be a lot of rinse and repeat. You already know how to create a sub point. You saw that in the last video. If you missed it or you need a refresher, there's a link below this one to go back and review it. What you want your sub point number two to provide is the parts formula. P, what's the phrase? What's the anchor? How will you drive this deeper into the audience so they don't just hear about it, they experience it? One way to do that is through the R, the reflection, the question that helps them think about the implication of this point to their lives. What is your technique? T and S, how do you sell the importance or value of this point to the listener? Once you've gotten through this point, you will now have given them a higher view through that window. They're now another floor higher. They can see further the implication and the power of your topic. And once you're done, you will transition into the third point. That is using the golden nugget or the sterling silver knife. As a reminder, the gold nugget is the value, the benefit they'll get by listening to this next point. And if they don't listen, the, the sterling silver knife will cut. It will hurt because they will miss out. They'll lose the benefits if they don't take action. There's one additional info, piece of information you'll get, not in this video, but when we're done, well, this is going to lead to the conclusion, how do you conclude effectively? That's the subject of a future video. Now, one idea to keep in mind, we have used a concept called the 10 to 1 rule. What is that? 10 to 1 says that for every 10 minutes of speaking time, give your audience one supporting point. For instance, if I've got a 30 minute talk, the rule says give them three supporting points. Actually, not really. <laughs> I'm gonna give them two most likely. Why? Because I've got to open, and that takes a good three to five minutes. And my conclusion should also take three to five minutes. So now we're down to roughly 20 of the 30 minutes I've been given. I don't want to overload people with sub points. I want to take my two most important and do a deep dive into those. That gives us time to set up the parts formula. If I'm given 60 minutes, I may go as far as four sub points. I'm not a big fan of overloading with points. I'd rather take my most important ones and do a deep dive. And audiences don't need all that information anyway. If you're in a workshop, a half day, full day, then you can talk about really laying out the sub points. But even then, be careful. Always think and ask yourself the question, how much is enough for an audience? Well, there you have it. There's the second floor and the third and the fourth and the fifth of your speaking house. Rinse and repeat. In the next video, we'll talk about how you transition into and deliver your conclusion that leaves people actually wanting more, but also eager to take action on your topic.